Hello, my name is Peter Brown. I'm a veterinarian from Chapinette Valley Veterinary Clinic located in Burlington, Washington, which is about an hour north of Seattle. And this is Lily. Lily's a seven-month-old Labrador Retriever that's just in process of getting trained to be a service dog. What we're going to talk about today is how to administer an inhaler to your dog. Some of you may be asking, why would you ever do this? Well, dogs and cats can develop asthma that may require or may be recommended um, by your veterinarian that an inhaler is used just like it is for people with asthma. The same process takes place. We need to have them inhale this medication into their lungs for it to be effective. But because they, don't, they can't operate the inhaler themselves, there are some certain added tricks that we need to do for them. The first step is that this is a prescription medication that's given to them. Your inhaler is not necessarily the right option for your dog. You do need to have the right medication prescribed specifically for your pet after the diagnosis of asthma is made. What will happen then is you will actually most likely go to a human pharmacy and get your um, inhaler medication. And then you will purchase an adapter similar to this, and this helps adapt it for use in a dog. The inhaler that you purchase will attach onto this end, and then you will use either a smaller mask for a smaller size dog, or in a dog lily size, we're going to use a larger mask such as this. Once the medication's attached on here, we will add a certain number of puffs of medication into this chamber here, and then it will be sitting in there. Then we will go ahead and place this over their mouth, and as they take a few breaths, this chamber will fill up with the medication, and they will breathe it into their lungs. Um, specifically, how many puffs are put into the chamber and how long the mask is left on is dependent on what your veterinarian recommends, what medications are used, because there is a wide variety of different medications that can be used through an inhaler. Once again, my name is Peter Brown. Today we talked about how to administer an inhaler to your dog. Thank you.